Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Sagittarius. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note with any donation you give, if you choose to, you could ask me a question in the comment section and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dogs. All right, I scurry the purple gem for you today before starting the video. And what's interesting, what showed up for you was a Native American man. And he was standing where I could see his like outline, like his profile. And he had a very long headdress on that reached the ground. And it looked like uh, white feathers. And he was facing a bird that was flying directly at him. And the bird had its like uh, feet up like this. So it was giving me the um, the feeling of the Thunderbird, which what I feel like it was representing, the Thunderbird symbolism, which represents transformation and protection and warding off evil spirits. So that's a very interesting symbol to come out for you. Now, the first card to come out for you today is the Ace of Wands. So with the Ace of Wands being here, this is showing a new passionate beginning for your life. This is a new start here with the Ace of Wands, possibly even moving or relocating for a select few of you. Next card out is the Two of Swords. So with the Two of Swords being here, this could represent being stuck in your head about a situation, you know, kind of feeling, you know, torn. And there could be a negative energy because, like I said, the Thunderbird represents, um, what's the word for it, warding off of evil spirits. So there could be like demonic energies that are trying to attack you as you're starting this new life, this new beginning. And that was clarified by the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups being here, this is kind of like looking at your spill cups. They want to block you from seeing the blessings that Jesus is bringing into your life. And the next card out for you is the Hangman. They want you stuck. They want you in your head. They're upset that you're having this passionate new beginning, this new start in life. They want you in stagnation here is what this card is representing. Next card out for you is the Seven of Coins. You're being told to continue to keep putting in the blood, sweat, and tears. Keep putting in the hard work into whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. Because these negative energies are trying to block you from achieving this. Next card out for you is the Three of Coins. You're going to eventually be around people that are like-minded collaboration with you that are on the same wavelength as you. So right now, if you're surrounded by people that are, you know, coming from a demonic energy, try to separate from them and just surround yourself around people that have the same common goals as you. Because I feel like these demonic energies are trying to hold you back. They're trying to keep you in stagnation. They're upset that you're having all this progress and moving forward. Now, the next card out for you is the Bible verse. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in, as you trust in him. So keep trusting in Jesus, and he's going to bring you peace and hope in any type of situation that may arise. Now, the next card out for you is Alice in a Sea of Tears. Cast away out of your depth, feeling abandoned. So perhaps you're feeling abandoned and kind of alone, but it's letting you know not to feel that way. Just keep trusting in Jesus and trust in his divine guidance because he's leading you down the path you're meant to be on. Now, the next card out for you is Tobacco Offering. Now, with this card coming out, this has lots of symbolism and representation here. So with Tobacco Offering, it's letting you know that God is going to be blessing you with more than enough abundance to make sure that you have enough for every good work, like the Bible verse says. And when Jesus is blessing you with all this abundance, make sure you know to always give back and always have a generous heart and spirit. And also when giving back to the land, this could represent the Tobacco Offering. And when you take something from the earth, you give back, you know, perhaps as, you know, leaving some tobacco on the ground. Now the next card out for you is Oats Fertility. So with the Oats card coming out, this has lots of symbolism as well. This represents to try to realize and keep in mind that when we have anxiety or when we're stressed out, that could affect us, you know, both with our psychic senses and with our, you know, our body. So the nervous system is a crucial to both our physical and psychic senses. A strong nervous system makes for greater psychic ability and allows us to get into a meditative state more easily. So it's letting you know, try to take time to, you know, always make sure that your energy is grounded and not to get, you know, overwhelmed by situations that may, you know, present itself. You know, it's easy to get caught up in negative thoughts. Now with uh, the fertility, I'm sorry, with this card, it represents fertility. So it's represents fertility. Uh, it's also represents to, you know, help with anxiety. So taking a bath in oats, or having a tea of oats can also, you know, help with bone density, coordination, balance, attention span, and memory. You know, so it has uh, lots of medicinal benefits, you know, that are worth looking into, you know, being very good for the skin as well. 
you know, so all in all, Sagittarius, you know, I see a good reading here for you. Just know that these demonic energies could try to block you and make you feel stagnant. You know, they can make you feel like you're not making any progress to try to stop you from moving forward. So ignore these demonic energies and know that Jesus is blessing you and he's guiding you down your path and, you know, keep moving forward. All right, Sagittarius, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.